Yeah. Okay, we are in the middle of Shar Aleph Parak Tazayan. Let me just uh, do a one minute uh, refresher memory, and that is that the the Yisoid that Rukhain Velozhin seems to be very adamant about is that um, although we have a neshama, the neshama is not atzmusay shal yisbarach. The neshama is a nitzay of or, which comes from um, the uh, neshima of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, but it's not like we're walking around with God inside of us. That seems to be his uh, his uh, shita. And he says that there's two exceptions that we know of. One exception is Adam Arishai, Kaida Machet, that the Neshama was, the Tzalam Alekim of Adam Arishai, that he had the Neshama was like Mamash Musa Yisbarach inside of him. But when he did the Chet of the Eitz Hadas, so the Neshama flew out of him, or the, I shouldn't say the Neshama flew out of him, I don't know, but the Atzmusa Yisbarach Yisbarach flew out of him, and it was Chayfei for Allah. That's his Lashen. Um, which is also the Lashon of the Zohar. And then, um, we learned, that's his Shita, and he, and he spoke about, um, let me just remind you, that um, he gave a mushal from Chazal to a child who sits on his father's lap, and the father tries to feed him from the Tamchui, and he says, no, I want it straight from your mouth. Now, so the father, Ma'asa Ha'av, Nasamwai. The father gives it to him. Now that's mashma the what? What are we What are we learning from that story? What's the nimshal? The what? We want straight from Hashem. We want straight from Hashem. At the end of the story, he's v'nasamay, and he gives it to him. So, so he's learning, which seems to me to be. Uh, I want to be biash to this, but it seems to be like punkfar character what he's trying to say that he was giving us from the tamfui, from the serving plate. We said, no. The kid says, no, we don't want that. We want straight from your mouth, for whatever reason the kid says that. Um, so, so it's mashma that we do have straight from the Teh of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So it's a little bit of a, why is he bringing a bushel, which is saiser his shita, straight from the Teh, straight from the Teh. Yeah, but the, but the food isn't the, the father. The food is something the father gives, no matter what. It's still a Even if thing. it's Minishu. So, in other words, it gets closer, yeah. but not. it's not yet. The etzim. The etzim. He's not giving him his tongue. Right. He's giving him his food. Okay. So, then we learned, we, this was a, um, a little bit of an, an aside, which wasn't such an aside the, in the Haggah. And I pointed out to you, um, we learned inside the Machoikas between the Nefesh Chaim and the Balatanya and the Indian of Tzimtzum. So um, you can't skip the Indian of Tzimtzum. So Tzimtzum, the question of Tzimtzum um, is, we learned this inside, I don't want to get into it further because it's a lifelong, a lifelong study, um, unless you want to, uh, but the Indian of Tzimtzum, the Pashtus means that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when he created the world, was mitzamsem himself in the Bria, which is um, Likely, according to the Balatanya, it's likely because uh, where did he go? Like it's not like it's not like Hashem could be uh, moved from here to there. Hashem, Balikolaris Kavayda. So it's likely, and according to Nefesh Achayim, it's unlikely that uh, that that could be the case because um, then you're giving Hakadosh Baruch Hu Vulin, and you're giving Hakadosh Baruch Hu um, here you are, here you're not. So okay, Machlekes uh, between two Gedolei Hadar. I'm not, uh, I don't know how to pass to that one, but uh, there are huge ramifications to Tzimtzum. That was the Haggah. Now let's go back to the text, uh, back after the Haggah. Let's look inside here. Zeh Shabru, that presumably he's going with his Shita. Zeh Shabru, this is the shot in the Chazal. Shamru Sham. The Sham is where he gives the mushal of the Tamfui. Before we talk about Tzimtzum. And there it says, "B'shasha Abdu Yisrael al Har Sinai lekabelas hatayra." That when Klai Yisrael and his was Babish Yada the Yaiba as we approach Shavuos, that B'shasha Abdu Yisrael al Har Sinai lekabelas hatayra. Hayu bevachshim lishmaya hadibrois bepi hakadosh baruchu. 
there was a bakasha of Klai Yisrael to hear the Asar Sadibrais straight from HaKadosh Baruch now, um, this is this is not true. <laughs> the, the, what was true was was the opposite way. That the um, I'll just read you the Chumash here. Just open up to make sure. In Parshas Yisroi, Parakaf, Loich Hashem Olegem, Asaras Adibrais, which you're familiar with. And then it says, Shvi v'Chol Ha'Am Royim as Hakolois v'as Halapidim v'as Kol Hashoifer. Vesahar Oshain, everybody saw everything, Vayar Ha'am Vayanu, Vayamdu Mirachaik, and when Faisal saw the um, Sinai experience, um, they Vayanu, Vayamdu Mirachaik, they were taken aback and they stood back, Vayoymru el Moshe, and they said to Moshe, Daber Ata Imanu Venishba. We want to hear it from you. Vayadaber Imanu Elikim, we don't want to hear straight from Hashem, Pen Namus, because this is a deathly experience. We will die if if we hear it straight from Hakadosh Baruch Or maybe we will die. Pen num. So the bakasha of Klai Yisrael was hafuf. The bakasha of Klai Yisrael was not to hear straight from Hashem. Well, that's the first two. Well, we want to we want this direct. So the order was. So when did they say this? After the first two, no? Okay. Two. So let's let's okay. Everybody's wrong. <laughs> 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 let's let's um, let's 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 figure out the chronology here. You're right. I mean, it's all a mishmash, right? So I mean, this day you're right. Oh, but like, what's the chronology? All I'm saying is, the pasuk says before, during, after. This is written after the Asar said difference. First, it says. Well, the pasuk earlier. By Yered Moishel Ha'am by Yomer Alehem. He spoke to them. By Daber Alekim as Kolat Varva Ela Lebar, and then it says it's a funny pasuk a little bit, a little bit uh, funny because first it says by Yered Moishel Ha'am by Yomer Alehem. So Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Mar Sinai and he spoke to the people. By Pud Parakov, by Daber Elikibas Kol Hadvari by Ela Labor, Hashem spoke the following things. So this is Moshe talking now, or is Hashem talking? It's Moshe. But it doesn't say by Daber Elikibas Kol Hadvari by Ela Labor. Okay, Labor, meaning Azayt Suzon, right? This is what I'm supposed to say. So Moshe Rabbeinu said the whole thing. He says the whole thing. As Eretz Adibrais, the whole law of Rome is a kolos as a bidim as kolos shayver as a har hashem v'yar am v'yanu v'yam nimrachi. So this is going on before earlier. Uh, this is going backwards. Like this is an ain't seder muktam mukher b'tayr. With Miguel, Parakov. V'yoyim ramay shadaber etay manu v'shnav v'al yadaber manu penamos. We don't want to hear straight from Hashem. Okay, too late. V'yoyim ramay shalom al tiro. You don't have to be afraid of that. He levavur nasi says chemba alikim levavur tia yiras help nechem levilti tefto. It's a good thing. So um, Moshe Rabbeinu goes back up. So you have to say, uh, I'm sorry to confuse you, but it's only because I'm confused. You have to say that Moshe Rabbeinu, that this that this is out of order. Hashem says the first it says Moshe Rabbeinu came down, and then it says Hashem told Moshe to tell over the Aser Sadibrois. And then it says the Klai Yisrael said, "Oh, we don't want to hear the Aseris Adibros from Hashem. We want to hear it from you." Okay, you just did hear it from me. And then Moshe Rabbeinu answers them, "Don't worry so much. It'll be good. It's a, you'll have it's Lamad Lasi says Chabad. It's a Nisayin to hear it straight from Hashem. But Bavortia Yerasei Al Penechem Levilti Tefto. But if you hear it straight from Hashem, great, great Yisoyin, uh, you will never do a Chet. It's a good thing. Hear it very straight from Hashem. But you have to say Al Karachov that that." Conversation between Klai Yisrael and Moshe Rabbeinu took place before the, um, Moshe Rabbeinu told them the whole Asaras Adibras. Uh huh. So wasn't there a difference between the first two? Okay, it doesn't say that here. What does it say? Says it somewhere. Yeah. Says it somewhere. Yeah. Nei Dibras Rishonos Mipiyak Shema. So let me show you the Medrash where, there, where if you don't look inside. You don't see it. Inside. So in the Medrash and Shirashirim, 
Rabba. The second pasuk in Shir Hashirim, Yishakeni, min shikas piu, kitoivim daidecha miyayim. So, Yishakeni, Yishakeni. Miyayim is that good? Hmm? You don't get yayin. Yeah, doidecha miyayin. In where? Karagala, Shir Shirim. Is that what you're asking me? So, look at the Madrash. Rebutin b'shem Rebutin Rebuhuda Reb Nechemi. Three way Achleikus. Rebutin Rebuhuda Reb Shimon and Reb Nechemi. Rebuhuda Aimer. Rebuhuda says like this. B'sha meaning they're trying to make seder over here. <laughs> they're trying to make seder. B'sha Shashamu Yisrael and Noichi Hashem Alekecha. I Yisrael heard a Noichi Hashem Alekecha. Heard Hashem's voice. Niska Talmud Torah Belibam. The Talmud Torah became takua, was engraved, Belibam in their hearts. At that moment, there was no shitcha. They could learn. There was no, no there was no forgetting. You become the shaliach beinoisenu. Shenemar. Now, Lamanamus. So but they, they heard an Oichi Hashem Alekecha, like Gil says, they heard an Oichi Hashem Alekecha. They got to a Madrega of no Shikha Satira. I presume that if you hear Hashem talking, it's unforgettable. <laughs> so there's no, there was no Shikha Satira. But then their reaction to it was this is not the way we want to do it. You speak to Hashem, Hashem speaks to you, and then you speak to us because <coughs> it's too close for us. Lama namus. Chazru liyais lamedim b'shoichim. So they started to hear further, and they would forget it. Amru. And then they said, and here's the chaf. Then they said, this is no good either. <laughs> trying to find, you know, trying to adjust the... Amru. Ma moishe basir v'dam oiver. What? Moshe Rabbeinu is just a human. He's going to pass. Av Talmud Oiver, and his words are going to pass. Yad Chazir Bala Amal Moshe. So they had Charata, and they came to Moshe Rabbeinu. Amr Lo Moshe Rabbeinu, Levai Yigal Anu Pam Shniel. Give us a second chance at this. That was a mistake. We want to hear straight from Hashem. Amr Lo Moshe Rabbeinu. Oh, I'm sorry. And they said, Halavai Yishakenu, Yishakeni rather, Min Shikais Pihu. Like, Anashika Pihu, Anashikas Piv. The, 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 the Lushan of the Goim is, the girl is very um, romantic, beautiful. He says that um, that getting the Torah from Harsinai in the first, in the Havamina, if you will, of getting it straight from Hakadosh Baruch Hu was called the Nishikas Piva, a Nishika Pat El Pat. Havar is Haruach, right? Nishikas Pat El Pat. It was like too much for them. <laughs> too much. That's too intense. So they said, "Okay, you'll be a shliach." That was too distant, apparently. And they said, "No, you shakeni min shikas." Pihu, Pihu, Pihu. The Gain says, I believe that whenever it's a hey, it's a lush in the cave. Whenever it's a vav, it's a lush in zachar. And then hey and vav, Pihu, is Pihu. And that's what it means, ani vahoi hoishi ana, zachar in the cave. So they said, Yishakeinu, Tiki toivim daidecha, I'm interspersing the Vilna Gaon here. Ki toivim daidecha miyoyim. We let's let's go back to plan A where we're hearing it straight from Akadosh Baruch Hu. Ki toivim doidecha. It's a new metaphor, right? Like a baby nursing. 
Me yoyin is better than yoyin. What's, uh, who, who said that? What's so great about yoyin, right? You say that? <laughs> yoyin, like, okay. Right. From a Frenchman here. <laughs> what could be better? Toivim doidecha mi yoyin. So yoyin, um, says the guy, has two famous gematrios. One of them is 70, yoyin is 70. And one of them is soid. Soid. And another one is um, 70. So 70, there's ayin panam l'tayra. 70 Lashonis. Every one thing Amen. the guy points out 70 Am. Lashon of the Gemari, Lashon of the Mishnah, there's 70 in Sanhedrin plus two. So interesting. So every, every I think there's 70 nations plus Yishmal Vesa. So 70 is when one breaks up into parts, it breaks up into 70 parts. And that 70 parts is yayin. That's called yayin. Um, it's beautiful. Ayin right? Panamotar is beautiful. Also very confusing. Unclear. I'm right. You're right. People don't like uh, people don't like opinions. People unless it's theirs. <laughs> like, confusing, right? Well, don't confuse me with the facts. There's there's <laughs> There's one way to understand this, and I'm going to become a Kanoi for this way, and that's what I'm going to, that's the right way, that's the MS, and you're Shekhar. But of course, it's not true. I in front of Latira. You have to know who's in the 70 and who's not. Not every Shtus that everybody says is, is part of the Ayin Panam Latira, but there are a Gesunter Ayin Panam Latira. That's, that's for sure. So there's Ayin Panam Latira, and that's the Ayin. But it's a lack of clarity. So when they first um, heard everything, crystal clear, this is how the Goyne explains the uh, when they first heard everything in a crystal clear fashion, so that was straight, that was straight from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And the clarity was such that there was no forgetting. It's clear. Something which is clear. I, I, I'll give you a, a morbid muscle. Um, <laughs> Dessler says this muscle is imagine a person goes to a doctor and the doctor says, You're going to die. So later on he comes home and he's planning on his whole future, his vacation, his this and that. So his wife says, The doctor just told you you're going to die. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Nobody's forgetting <laughs> such a thing. Like it's not, it's not, goes, doesn't go to the gender of, of shikha. Why not? Because it's clear. <laughs> it's, a, it's a clear thing. Assuming the doctors have an idea what they're talking about, but it's 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 clear. So um, there's no shikha. The the medrash goes further. This next opinion <coughs> from Nehemiah Amar, Yisrael That's that's a noichi. No Then they heard also out loud from Hashem, Lo Yilacha, Elohim Acherim Al Ponoi. So Bisha, Shishama Yisrael, Lo Yilacha, Nekar Yitzhahara Milima. There was no more Yitzhahara. So two things happened at Har Sinai. A, no more Shikha Satara, that's Anoich Yashem Alikacha, which is like, um, this, it's like, like the positive, right? Remember what I'm telling you. And la yelacha is the negative, so the negative la yelacha no more yetsahara. So with the la yelacha came the no yetsahara. Nekar yetsahara me leave him. They had a yetsahara, but nekar it was uprooted. Bo yetsal moisha amir loy moisha rabbeinu teyasa at prosman shaliach benenu. So what's wrong with that? That then they came they came without a yetsahara. They came to Moshe Rabbeinu. And they said, Moshe Rabbeinu, you be the shliach. Shenemar da'ber atoy imanu v'nishmat alam anamos. His take on the Pasek. Miyad chazer yetzahara lim koima. So the yetzahara comes back. Okay. So it's so interesting that once Moshe Rabbeinu becomes the shliach, there's the yetzahara. As long as they're hearing it, mipashal ha'kadosh baruch hu, there's no yetzahara. Chazer al-Moshe v'amr lo'moshe Rabbeinu, this is no good, we don't want a yetzahara. Before we're talking about shikha, we don't want to eat zahar. Levai yigol alonu pam shnei. Let's try this again. Take two. Levai yishakeni min shikai spihu. We want back the 
Nishikas Hapeh. Amr Lahem, and this is the second Medrash that says the same Lashem, Moshe Rabbeinu answered them, Ein Zoi Achshav. Now is not the time. Avalah said Lavoi. It'll be in the future. Dechsiv, Yechesko said, Yechesko Anavi Vasi Roisi Eslev Ha'even Mibsarchem. In the first case of losing the shikhan, they said, no, we want to go back. Yishakeni mishikas piyu, shenemar, pasuk in Yirmiyahu, nasati es teirasai, bikirbam ba'alibam echta vennok. There will come a time where, as Yirmiyahu said, to put it all together, that nasati es teirasai, bikirbam ba'alibam echta vennok, echta vennok. And there will come a time, Moshe Rabbeinu says, that the Nevu of Yecheskel will come true, of Asiraisi Yislev HaEven Mibsarachem, but Mibsarachem, um, it's not being written straight on your heart, and it's also, you have a Lev HaEven. Your hearts are hearts of stone, so there is no Yishakeni Minshikas Pihu, um, you'll have to make do with the Yoyin. Yoyin is the Tereshavah. So, in other words, so that's the so. Let's first of all let's get our chronology clear. What happened was there was a, a havamina and then a maskana and then a tzeduk of the maskana. So the havamina was kilo. I'm using gemara terms on a kodesh baruch but the the, the havamina was or the, the the natural thing would be would have been that a kodesh baruch would speak out the asaris hadibrais to Klai Yisrael. And by the way, Rashi tells us that the Asar Zadibra is Kailu Kol If they would have understood, that, if they would have heard the Asar Zadibra straight from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they would have had Taryag Mitzvahs. So, um, okay, so they they got they got up to the second of the Taryag Mitzvahs. The Pasuk says in Tehillim, Shtayim Zu Shamati. I heard two. We heard two from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. They got up to the second Dibrais, they said, no, 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 you'll tear me die, so they started hearing me pi Moshe. And this probably explains the Mukta Mamukher in the Torah here. So they started hearing from Moshe. Then they stopped Moshe, and they said, no, you shall me. We want back the Nashika Spiel, but he said, no, not now, later. At which point they came back after the, after the After the second of the Sarah Zadim. So Shtayim Zu Shamati. Then they were afraid they were going to die. So then they, they that must, they, they, I don't know, they I don't know if they heard third, fourth, fifth, sixth, I don't know, it doesn't say, I would guess, but uh, they heard, and then he said, right, but they, they liked, they missed the Nishika Sapet, <laughs> like, what about the Nishika Sapet? So uh, Moshe Rabbeinu says, Ein it's, not the, it's not the right time, even though L'Chathila, it was the right time, <laughs> it seems to have been the right time, and they were the ones to protest it. Like Chazal say, in the Medrash that if they wouldn't have said this Pasuk, if they wouldn't have said Daber Atoy Manu Nishma by Daber Manu Elikim Penamos, if they wouldn't have had that Bakasha, they would have never made the Egel Azov. Shita. Because um, because there wouldn't have been the heart. And it was almost like, uh, if I can say a little bit more, it was almost like they made Egel up. Did you already forget? <laughs> they heard the Asar Sadibras, apparently, or at least. They made the Egel up. So the, the Shikha, as soon as they said no, so what does it mean? It means they heard it, and then, I'm just the chronology of it, they heard Anachi Hashem, they heard Lo Yelucha, and then they waited um, 40 days, right? Moshe Rabbeinu to come down. No? I don't know. What, what, what then? Right after the second. What's the other, what's the other option? I mean, the, the Pasha says that, that the commander was to tell him all ten on the first day. He was up. He was up in the mountain. Yeah, but they could hear him from the top. Right, you want to add a, add a, a Medrash here? <laughs> Medrash <laughs> Moshe. <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, sounds right. I think you got the wrong religion. <laughs> The, the, the so he goes has, back up into the cloud by the end of the episode. He's up on the he's up in the right. That's right. He, he's up on the Harsinai, 
and they're hearing a Kodesh Baruch Hu. And I said, no, this can't, we, don't want, we don't want to hear a Kodesh Baruch Hu. So they stop hearing a Kodesh Baruch Hu. So before they hear anything else, they say, hey, what happened to a Kodesh Baruch Hu? It was a, the, the thing that they forgot is one of them that they heard directly, which was El Hima Shavim. The build a gold because as soon as they said, we don't want to hear it, they forgot. <coughs> but they, they didn't have to, they forgot that too. That's what the Medrash says. They forgot everything. The Shikha came back and Yitzhahara came back, and if there was no Shikha, no Yitzhahara, it wouldn't have been an eagle. So now they're waiting for Moshe to come and say everything. Kinneret, I'm just saying, Kinneret. Where did they hear? They didn't hear it. So that's something that you read it right at the beginning. Hashem al Moshe Lemor. Right. So that was for After 40 years. days, tell them. Uh-huh. They went. Yeah, You're disagreeing with me. Everybody's disagreeing yeah. with me. Chronology. Yeah. Everything by the end of the story that says Moshe goes back into the cloud. <coughs> After what? After he broke the luchos. And, well, I don't know what the luchos breaking is. It doesn't. It doesn't. By Yedaber It doesn't say here by Yedaber Moshe El Bnei Yisrael. Or by Adabar Hashem El Moshe to say to Bnei, that doesn't say that he said it to Bnei Yisrael. Hashem told Moshe the Ten Commandments. Two of them he said out loud, and eight of them he said just to Moshe. Shtaim Zushamati and the other ones I didn't hear. Moshe Rabbeinu had them. He comes down. They didn't, they, they're, they're asking Yishakenu and Shikaspi what happened to God's voice. It's a struggle. <laughs> we do want it, we don't want it. Like, look, l- let me, let me, uh, I speak like an American rabbi for a minute. They, like, you could say, I mean, here's the drush. Yeah. Take away my Yitzhahara. Right? Okay, I took away your Yitzhahara. Give it back. <laughs> I feel dead. <laughs> I feel dead. You know, um, do, you, do you want to, do you want to um, like, remember everything? It's horrible. <laughs> Thank God for shikha. You know, you can have an argument with your wife in the morning, and then by night everything's okay. <laughs> shikha, the bracha shikha. Shikha is a, is a, a good tazah, not a bad thing. So, do you want to not have a Yetzirah? What are you going to do here? <laughs> you know, walk around like a, a malach. The struggle. <coughs> the struggle and the, the these are, these are the, the, the humanness. These are all human things. Yetzirah is a human thing. Shikha is a human thing. It's human. You can't beat yourself up for being human. So you're human. But on the other hand, we wish we were like godly. <laughs> so um, in the, in the, the sequ- it's, a, it's a difficult sequence. But the, way, the, way I'm, the only way I think to understand this medrash is that there was a, a, a take one. Chai Yisrael said, stop. OK, Moshe Rabbeinu said, OK, we'll stop. And then they said, we want to hear more. And he says, lo achshav. Yeah. Who's the mouthpiece for the, for the Jews? I mean, who was actually doing the talking? Yeah. That, I presume that, um, you mean like, did it go in, the, in WhatsApp or something? Well, who's <laughs> saying, we don't, we don't want to hear? Who's representing everybody? There's a kingdom. The Pashto says there's a kingdom. But let me, let me, just, no let me, let me just say something here. It's an interesting thing. Um, Karach, later on, comes along and he says, to Moshe and to Klai Yisrael, Lovetz is Nassau Akal Hashem, Mechi Chola Eide Kulam Kedosh. Rashi says Rashi, Kulam Shem. Everybody heard on Har Sinai. What did they hear? Anoichi Hashem Elikecha, Lo Yelcha. Huh? So you look like Moshe Rabbeinu. You know what do you what do you Lovetz is Nassau Akal Hashem? What are you making us? What are, you, what are you making yourself such a nasius over here? Everybody has the koach to 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 hear Hashem. Koharaya shamanu, kulam shamanu. So like you have to understand koach. I mean, like like it sounds stupid <laughs> because they because it's before the pasuk, but they say we don't want to hear. You be the shaliach. So Klai Yisrael here in the in the Torah, koach was there too. Klai Yisrael in the Torah, before the pasuk said. We don't want to hear from Hashem. So it cuts out. This pasuk is extremely important, not just in the story of the Sarah Adib Rice, but it's important in um, setting down, you know, it's like Stalingavek, the, the, the place of Moshe 
in the whole story of Klai Yisro. Maybe he disagreed. Maybe he wasn't given a game. Didn't see it. Oh, that's why I'm saying. Maybe, like, maybe he was. But but he. <laughs> What was he saying? Kolo Edo Kulam Kedoshim of Besoicham Hashem Lama Tisnasu Al Kal Hashem. Like, we're all holy. So he's saying he, like, we saw, I mean, you can say like this, we saw that Klai Yisrael has a potential to hear straight from a Gunnish Baruch. So he was really echoing, I'm, I'm thinking, that he was really echoing the second Taina of Klai Yisrael, of Yishakenu Minshika Sviyu. That Klai Yisrael, uh, Klai Yisrael, I don't want to be to Moshe Rabbeinu, and I don't think you should be to Moshe Rabbeinu. I think there should be no Shaliyah. That was his time. Uh, let's go back to direct. So, so he was questioning the whole philosophy, and okay, Klai Yisrael made a mistake. <laughs> they made a mistake. They said we're, you know, we're going to die. Pen nomus, right? We're, we're going to die. Daber al yidaber imanu elikim pen nomus. And Kairach is saying, but they they had karata from that. As soon as as soon as as soon as they stopped hearing, I mean it's a good taina when you if you make this argument. What happened? They built an ego. It was a mistake. So it was a mistake. So Moshe Rabbeinu, let's go back to the original idea, Hashem's idea. There there won't be any Yetzirah. There won't be any. It's a new Kairach here. I've just created for you. <laughs> Tzadik right? So the the the, the Kairach comes and he says there won't be any Yitzharah, there won't be any Shikha. They'll be in a Shikas pad with Hakadosh Baruch Hu, and this is beautiful. You see, like um, Kairach came with his Adas Kairach came with a, a Talus Shikulay Tchelas, Bayis Malei Svar. It's it's not uh, the, it's not like we have tzitzis on the fringe. <laughs> it's the whole talus shikulei tchelus, like the whole. Yeah, what's a tzitzis um, t- for zechira? But if if you have the whole thing, which is talus shikulei tchelus, what's the what do you need zechira for? You don't need to uschartem is called mitzvah Hashem. You don't need zechira. There's no shikha. There's no shikha. What's what's the what's the purpose of the tzitzis? The purpose of the tzitzis is that if you want to do an avera, right? So you'll. But if if Klai Yisrael's hearing straight from if you want to do an avera, you'll you'll look at the tchelus, tchelus, the rakia, the rakia, the the bayit, the bayit, the rakia, like your shalom's up. What was it? Shalom's up. <laughs> like what's the what? There's no need. There's no yitzhahara. Like it looks the korach. You know, korach's in a whole new place here. Let's 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 um. Let's make everything the way it should have been. So Klai Yisrael made a mistake, so don't uh, they have to suffer for this mistake? And, and now, response of Moshe Rabbeinu. Uh, response of Moshe Rabbeinu, not to Korach, but to Klai Yisrael, according to the Medrash, is, Amr Laham, Ein Zoy Achshav. But, Ein Zoy Achshav, L'asu L'avayhu, T'chsi Basi Roisi Yisleva Eben Mipsarchem. They had a one-time offer. They messed, they messed, they messed, Why? They messed up. Why? So why was the one-time offer? Yeah. It sounds like a reenactment of a federal relation. There's no, it's a new reality. There's no going back. I'm sorry, it's not. And they said no. Reenactment of what? Ketal of Reenactment of what? I mean, can't go back. Can't do shuvah. It's a brand new reality. You create it. Or the womb. I always say, I always give this bustle. I mean, because it's the six of I vied, but uh, we're we're at the. Uh, the Buffalo I used to give a uh, right after davening there. A few, a few older people used to give a uh, like a gemara shir. So um, in the front, you remember the show, right? In the front. So I used to give a, a few old Holocaust survivors used to come. So uh, we finished the shir. So the guy says, um, we have a tara. We have a tara at ten o'clock. Um, so and so died. They were rough guys. These <laughs> guys, they were like. Yeah. This guy, Yenerot Gestorben, the tires of Sena He says, We're one man short. Come, 10 o'clock. So that Tara, I didn't, like at that time, I never did a Tara. I never taught, touched a dead person. I never saw a dead person. I wasn't really was giving me the EBGBs. The whole, the whole thing. So I'm thinking, like, uh, it's a big mitzvah, so this and that. So um, I don't think that I was uh, thinking about it for more than 20 or 30 seconds, but the guy says, Okay, it's not for you. 
<laughs> if you're thinking about it, you're disqualified. <laughs> That's the uh, Sadish Tardir. Thank you. <laughs> he asked me again about a year later, and I, yes, I, mean, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Then I became part of the Tavar ta ta Kaddish. But you know, there's, there's this, um, but what I'm saying is that like sometimes um, in Megala, your koich is on nefesh. So like not what you want to do, but what's real. Like So uh, of course, everybody wants to uh, hear straight from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but there were Megala, uh, one second, uh, this is scary, we might die. So once you're Megala, so Moshe Rabbeinu said, it's not, that you, it's not that you don't get a second chance, you hear? Mm -hmm. It's not that you don't get a second chance. That's not the point. You're not holding you're not, it. Yeah, like, like it's... Uh, in, in are you holding or are you not holding? And, uh, like, like it's, it's, uh, it's not about a second chance. It's not about doing tshuva. It's not about anything like that. It's not about making a mistake. It's about the gut reaction to, to hearing the, the divrei Hashem straight, the Dvar Hashem, Yishakeni Mishika Ispil, the, 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 the gut reaction was, whoa, well, stop, uh, I, can't, I can't handle it. Okay, they didn't hear it, they missed it, Yishakeni, this and that, they started speaking poetically. No, you were Magal. It's nisht fardir. That's, I think that, that's the uh, shot. And historically. Uh, and baby in the womb. Uh, she's called to Rakula, Olam Sofa Al Sofa then he has to be born. Other Marisha on Azakadis Baruchu, according to Lesham, that's it's, it's all planned that he's not gonna it's, it's not so there's there's a Bechina, the baby in the what's the point over there? There's a Roshan that's left. Even though you don't okay. have the Clorkite, but the Roshem is there. So that could be the, the chilik between Ad Marisha and Bukhayachet and Achrayachet. Roshem. He had his direct knowledge. That leaves a Roshem that's Nishar Achrayachet. So that's the beginning of uh, <coughs> okay. So that's the difference of between him being in him and and, and, the and above him. <coughs> so the Roshim is necessary. So that, that uh, the Medrash is, is basically dealing no. with that idea in its way. Right. <laughs> now, let me let me just add one piece before we close for today. <laughs> that uh, Chazal tell us clearly that. While Hakadosh Baruch Hu, just one piece, it's a verse, that while Hakadosh Baruch Hu was saying Anochi Hashem Alekecha, Paska Zuamos, that's Gemarin Shabbos Pechas, Paska Zuamos. What is it? What 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 Zuma is that? The Zuma of the Nachash. So so the Nachash um, injected a, a Zuama of Yitzhara. And when they heard Anarchy Hashem Lakacha, Paska Zuamasam, some means that we were on the Madrega of Adamarishai Kaidamachet. That's where we were holding. Now Adamarishai Kaidamachet did a chet. Adamarishai Kaidamachet, there was no Yetzahara, there was no Misa. Pednamus, there was no Misa. Is it really a fear? There's no Misa. The Adar Marisha Kaida Machet was in this Bechida, as Rav Yitzhak said, of hearing straight from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It was straight from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. There was no, and the Neshama as the Nefesh Achayim, and the Tanya Kula Alba Loi Pligi was Bifnib. The, the, the Atzmusay Shal HaKadosh Baruch Hu was Bifnib. Something like this. It's like Nefesh Achayim's Divya, not mine. Something like this Matzav. So this Matzav of Shtayim Zu Shabanu that we heard these two um, of two firsts of the Aseris and Debrais, and that, that we, we were there, we were redeemed. This was Mashiach. This was the Gula, this was the Tikkun of the Chet of Adam And then they said, and then we read and rooted it all by saying, um, no, we don't want, we want a Shaliach, we don't want to go direct, Pen Namus. So that, they wouldn't have made a Venegel as up, there would have been a Gula. There was the Tikkun of the Chet at that moment comes Kairach after this, after the whole story, and he says, Laba Tisnaso, Kal Hashem, you're being back of the Gula. There, there could have been a Gula here, there could have been no more Yitzar, no more Misa, no more Shitcha. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <coughs> this wasn't just like politics, you know, like <laughs> Kairach, Moshe. Kola Eta Kulat Kedoshim, what does that mean? 
הוא בסוי חום השם. אבל זה אמין, הסלוסוי, he was tidying, I don't want to say the Torah was tidying the Baal Tanyas, that's how it is. But he was understanding that at least there was a clear hava amina, and let's make it say it stronger, there was a clear possibility that Gam Moshe Avar, Gam Yisrael Avar, like the Medrash says, he's going to pass, we're going to pass, he's a human, and he did it, so maybe we can do it. And Moshe Rabbeinu is arguing with a sort of um, uh, uh, maybe an unpopular argument in a way. It's an unpopular Loy Achshav. Ein Zoy Achshav. Ein Zoy Achshav. There will come a time. So um, there will come a time that what? There will come a time that you'll hear Hu Yashvienu Shainis Leine Kolchai. Hu Yashvienu Shainis Leine Kolchai. There'll be a second Hashva. That's what we're singing about there in Kedusha. Leine Kolchai. The whole world will see. That Klai Yisrael is hearing straight, hey, go out to Yeschem. Achris Kereshis. Leo Yislochem Leilakim. So there, there, there will come a time, but this is what Moshe Rabbeinu says here to Klai Yisrael, and in my opinion, later to, to Kairach, that we were already like uh, thinking about it too much. Eid Zayach, so we weren't holding. We weren't holding. Moshe Rabbeinu was hoping that it would be the Gula. Everybody was hoping it would be the Gula. They saw they blew it, so to speak. And 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 Moshe Rabbeinu said, "Ain't an option because there's no there's no going back." But here here's where let's let's leave it until Thursday. Here's what's interesting. When Shlomo Amalek says, "Yishakeni b'chiko ispiu," he's talking about he's not, he's not to giving a history lesson here, like I am. What he's talking about is the struggle of Klai Yisrael for all of the generations that we miss Hakadosh Baruch Hu's b'chikas hapen, meaning. What, we're, what, what that is, is a struggle and a yearning <laughs> for the Geula. Yishakedi. What we're struggling for is, okay, you know, okay, so we said, we don't want to hear. You know, we don't want to hear. So, Kodesh Baruch Hu, Moshe Rabbeinu, step back. You don't want to hear, you don't want to hear. And the whole Shir Shir, by the way, is exactly that. That's exactly what the whole Shir Shir is. We the first chance, the second chance, the third. Like, I, like uh, you, you said no. You said no. And, and, but again, I just want to reiterate, it's not the shot, you said no and that's it, you know, like uh, penalized, <laughs> look, you can't. You said no, to, by, by, by the fact that you had this shash means that you weren't, uh, uh, you weren't holding by it. So wait another year, wait another, wait till the Mashiach comes. There's a Nebuah for this, Hasi Roisi Leib Ha'aven. The Leib Ha'aven will, will go away, you won't be so, uh, you know, worried about this, or worried about that, worried about not having Yetzar, well, what's life going to be with a, without Yetzar? You know, it just reminds me, they always say over in Yeshivas for the Chavaz I don't know if we, I mean, they, I never saw it inside, but they always say oh, that the Chavaz Chai is, you know, like, do, do you really want Mashiach? Like, or, do we really want a time without a Yetzar? Like, what fun is, you know, like, like, <laughs> like what's the, what kind of, like, it's, do we want to really have a life, like, like, you know, we're all saying we want Mashiach, we want Mashiach now. But like, do we do we really want? So the answer is like, when we're victims of our Yitzhahara, of course, like, like, who needs us? But on the other hand, like, the struggle is the struggle of, of life. So the Yishakedi that that Shlomo Melech, the whole Shira Shirib is describing that struggle. That's the struggle of Klai Yisrael. We want it. We don't want it. We want it. We don't want it. Like, what's the uh, what? We want to be humans. We want to be godly. So uh, we have to take that back. Yitzhahara Thursday to the Nefeshachayu Shita of. What does it mean? But by the way, I don't think without learning this better and, and the guy inside, it's possible to even understand what he says. Because I look here at the report, so he's always soicer himself one way or the other. <laughs> but uh, make up make up your mind. But it's it's so passionate that he's saying that yes, we could, and yes, we did, and yes, we will. But we don't have Hakadosh Baruch Hu, the Atzmusa Shal Hakadosh Baruch Hu inside of us. Maybe because we pushed it away, but we still don't have it. It's just Chayfei Falein. Is the Enikol Chai a Mila that didn't exist by the first people? Yeah. So maybe that's the whole point. That if you have to go through.